Hello and welcome to How to Play the Card Game Estimation. This video will cover the general aspects and gameplay of estimation. The video will then get into more details of the game and finish with two example rounds of estimation. The object of estimation is to score the most points by correctly predicting how many tricks you will take each round. A trick is created by each player playing a card into the middle. The winner of the trick is the player with the highest ranking card. The cards are ranked with ace being the highest and two being the lowest until a trump suit is established. Once a trump suit is established, the trump suited cards will outrank all other suited cards. For example, if clubs are trump, then the nine of clubs would outrank the ace of hearts. Before the game starts, the first dealer needs to be established. This is done by each player picking a card and the person with the highest card is the first dealer. Round 1 begins with the dealer dealing one card to each player. The dealer then flips up the top card of the remaining deck. The suit of the flipped up card is the trump suit for the round. After each round, the deal moves clockwise to the next player on the left. As the dealer changes, so does the number of cards dealt. The number of cards dealt goes up one card at a time until an agreed upon number of rounds and then returns down one card at a time back to one card. After the cards are dealt but before the gameplay starts, each player will bid on how many tricks he thinks he will win. Bidding will start with the player on the left of the dealer and continue around clockwise. One player will need to be designated as the scorekeeper and have a scorecard ready before the bidding starts. As players bid, the scorekeeper will write down the stated bids for each player. The total number of tricks bid cannot equal the total number of tricks possible. For example, in this round the total amount bid cannot equal 1. This round is good as the total bid equals 2. This gameplay explanation will be from round 6 of the game. Each player will bid how many tricks they think they will take, with spades being trump. The player left of the dealer plays the first card into the middle. Each player must follow the lead suit when possible. If a player is unable to follow the lead suit, that player can play any card. The winner of the trick is the player who played the highest card in the lead suit, unless a trump suited card was played. If trump is involved, the player with the highest ranking trump card would win the trick. The winner of the trick leads the next trick. Player 3 leads a club and player 4, 5, and 1 follow suit. Player 2 cannot follow suit and plays his ace as he bids 0 and wants to get rid of this high ranking card. Player 1 wins the trick with the highest ranking club. Player 1 leads the next trick with the 6 of diamonds. Player 2 follows suit. Player 3 cannot follow suit and plays a heart. Player 4 follows suit. Player 5 cannot follow suit and plays a trump card to win the trick. The rest of the round goes as follows. <laughs> At the end of the round, player 1 has 1 trick, player 3 has 3 tricks, and player 5 has 2 tricks. For the scoring, 10 points are added to each player's bid every round. If a player correctly predicts the amount of tricks he won, the player is awarded his bid plus 10 to his score. If a player incorrectly guessed the amount of tricks he won, the player is given the negative amount of his bid and 10 points. For example,
Player 5 did not reach his bid of 3 and gets negative 13 points to his score. Players must play the same suit that was led whenever possible. The total amount bid cannot equal the total number of tricks possible. This makes it that at least one player goes negative each round. The dealer may be forced to bid or restricted to bid since he is the last player to bid. For example, the dealer is unable to have a bid of 1 if, in round 4, the total bid amount is 3 when it reaches him. The number of rounds played in a game depends on the number of players playing. If you are playing with 10 players, the highest amount of cards that can be dealt are 5 before you have to return down. If you are playing with 5 players, you could go up to 10 cards before coming down. Although if playing with 5 or few players, it is common to set a cap such as 8 cards before returning down. The last round of the game can be played blind. The card dealt to you is placed on your forehead without looking at it. You will then place your bid based on the cards all the other players are showing. This example will go through the first two rounds of a game. Player 1 deals the first round. The trump suit is clubs. The bidding starts with player 2 who bids 0. Player 3 also bids 0. Player 4 has a trump suited card and bids 1. Player 5 bids 0. Since the total amount bid cannot equal the total tricks possible, player 1 is forced to bid 1. Player 2 leads the trick, and player 4 wins the trick with the highest ranking card. 10 points are added to each player's bid, and player 1 goes negative since he did not make his bid. Round 2 begins with player 2 dealing 2 cards to each player and shows hearts as the trump suit this round. Player 3 is the first to bid and bids 1. Player 4 bids 0. Player 5 bids 0. Player 1 bids 0. Player 2 cannot bid 1 and decides to bid 0. Player 3 leads the first trick with the 8 of clubs. Player 4 follows suit with his 9 of clubs. Player 5 cannot follow suit and plays the 8 of spades. Player 1 is forced to follow suit and plays the 10 of clubs. Player 2 cannot follow suit and plays the queen of spades. Player 1 wins the trick with the highest ranking card. Player 1 leads the next trick with the queen of diamonds. Each player plays their remaining card and player 3 wins the trick with the trump suited 10 of hearts. Player 1 and player 3 each won a trick that hand. Player 1 goes negative again as he bid 0. That wraps up how to play the card game estimation. As with most games, you will get better with practice, so don't be discouraged if it takes you a few games to catch on. Thanks for watching.